to set up a new kilogram, the head of the Global Service Center of UNHCR here in Budapest. Hi, Rosella, thank you for having us and thank you for giving the opportunity to film you. We wanted to ask you, um, why is World Refugee Day important? Well, refugee, World Refugee Day is important because uh, I think it's important to remember that while we lead a fairly comfortable, la comfortable life, at least most of our, many of us do, uh, there are very, there's a lot of very large number of people uh, for whom uh, finding safety and, uh, uh, and, and a basic livelihood is still a very important challenge. There are still in the world some 9 million refugees who are in, uh, in countries, very often in countries of first asylum uh, in, uh, in situations that are very difficult and difficult. Okay. Thank you. And I um, want to know what challenges do or what reasons to cause people to move to different countries? Well, there's, uh, there's many reasons. So the, uh, the majority of people that we would deal with at least uh, have, uh, have crossed into, a, into, a new, into another country because of war, uh, virus, because, of because of persecution. Though uh, these days, in fact, you have a, a, a growing number of people who have to leave because of natural disasters. We don't call those refugees, but the circumstances in which they find themselves uh, are in many cases comparable. And um, we want to know what challenges do refugees face in the new host countries or asylum seekers when they're young? Particularly young, young. Mm -hmm. exactly. Well, uh, there's circumstances differ, depends, depends very much on where they are, but there is a very, very large number of young refugees who find themselves in countries where uh, where there is, uh, where there's still, the, the security is still at risk. There's risk of uh, sexual and gender-based violence uh, uh, for girls and for boys. Uh, there is a risk. Of, there might be a risk of uh, uh, forcible recruitment. Uh, there is, uh, there are the risks that come sometimes from being separated from the families. Many, many kids uh, are, are lost in the, in, during the flight. And, uh, and a host of other of other issues uh, that have to do with, uh, for example, lack of uh, lack of schooling facilities, uh, for the fact that children very often are forced to, to go and work uh, to, to help the family uh, survive. It's not easy to be a refugee kid. No. And lastly, one question I'd like to ask you: If you could give a message to young refugees worldwide, what would you tell them? Oh dear, you're asking me a very difficult <laughs> question. I would say, you know, don't keep hoping. Don't give up. Don't give up because uh, uh, refugee kids, like all kids in, everywhere in the world, I think they're really the best hopes of their community and of, uh, and of, of the world at large. Uh, 